Hi, Gavin Allenson here with sportsnutritionvlog.com and uh, just thought I'd go over some results uh, I've just had. Uh, I had a DEXA scan, which uh, I've got the Wikipedia page up here, Dual Energy X-ray Absorptiometry. And uh, basically what it does, if you look at the, the machine here, it's a bit like a scanner and it just scans your whole body and what it looks at is your body comp composition. Now, I was taking part in a study where they took some blood, I think it was for diabetes research, they took some blood and uh, body measurements and they're going to use that to track a, a number of people, I think it was 5,000 people over the, the next 25 years to see if there's any gen genetic components or environmental components to uh, diabetes research. Uh, living in Oxford, there's a lot of this type of stuff going on at the, on at the universities. So let me just show you the, the results I got because um, it's quite interesting. And um, where are we? Okay, so here's a printout. Here's the actual x-ray of me and my body. And there's my lungs there and arms and bones and everything. It's probably not that clear. You can't see that well because I've taken a photo of it. Uh, my details up here, 188 centimeters, 95.4. That's what the lady weighed me at, but the machine weighed me a little bit lower because I'd taken my uh, trousers off by then. Um, and here's the, uh, the uh, like the results. So over here we've got the body fat levels: five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. I came in at ten point two, uh, which was quite good apparently. And uh, here's the different percentiles. So I'm below uh, the second percentile. So I said to the woman, "So what would I be in the top two percent?" Uh, for my age and she said well no probably more the uh, the one percent and even if you saw I went back here to somebody who's 20 go across um, I'm still gonna be in the the top percent as a 10 percent as a as a 25 year old um, okay so let's just look in a little bit more detail at some of the figures that it came okay so uh, here you can see down here 94.2 that was my total mass and fat mass 9.2 kilos which works out about right about 10 percent and uh, what it did was it looks at you know your left arm your left leg uh, and you know the percentage fat in those areas so as you can see down here gynoid uh, that's around your 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 hips and your bum and uh, so that is I've got most of my fat stored around there and Android is more around your belly so uh, what the researcher was saying is that as a man um, and uh, I presume for a woman as well it's better to have uh, your fat the fat that you have distributed around your round your bum rather than round your waist uh, around your waist you it's more likely that you're gonna have uh, incidents of you know coronary heart disease uh, and that type of stuff so um, that was interesting and um, she said there wasn't that much difference between my left and my right arms because uh, usually left-sided people or right-sided people have higher um, percentages of fat in the in their less dominant side let me just have a look I'm left-legged or left-footed so what's the difference between my left leg right leg 9.4 left leg 9.7 not much difference from there so uh, doing the karate and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and rowing I suppose which is a bit more uh, you know working both sides probably helps out with that and um, yeah so no I just thought uh, you guys might be might be interested in that and uh, I'll do another video as well just to show you what 10.2 percent looks like uh, because I've always, when I was looking at body composition, um, I always wanted to have a figure of, okay, what does somebody who looks like 10% look like? So um, I'll show you I'll, sh I'll show you mine, and um, you can make the judgment whether that's going to be good enough for you, or you need to actually get to 8% to look the way that you want to look. Um, I think looking at the, um, you know, if you look at the pictures in the magazines, uh, those you know who you know really show in the six pack and stuff. Those guys are really uh, you know leaned up for uh, for something like that, and they're you know 
six percent body fat and you know and under which is okay to do for a one-off type of um, you know show or photo shoot uh, but it's not that good to be actually walking around at that lower body fat level um, oh yeah and the other thing I was gonna say is that when we actually do our skin fold measurements which are not that one um, with the calipers when we do the skin fold measurements with the calipers uh, is very accurate because um, I would have I would have estimated from the uh, you know from the body fat measurements Matt levels done for me in the past so I was around about 10% so this came in at uh, at spot on okay so I hope you found this interesting if you've got any comments just or questions just ask us in the, the comment section cheers bye